<laughs> Hello, esteemed viewers. Hi. AKA Jake and Aaron. Um, so. Oh, we have at least, what, six? We have at least six subscribers, and only one of those is Monty, so like five other people. Are suckers, and they <sighs> I don't apparently know. like to watch crap. I don't know what they're watching. I have no idea. However. Do you think they just like let a video run and we just pop up after when they go to the bathroom yes, or something? so then it just keeps playing for sure. That's and then how there's ben, Jake and Aaron. They're, they're right. legitimately watching them. That's how my son liked Pennywise the Clown because that popped up <laughs> after a video, a child's video he was watching. Yeah, that's not good. No. Pennywise is not child friendly. So there's Pennywise and then there's us. <laughs> they're just randomly popping up. And then there's kid shows. There's those Russian propaganda kid shows. Um, also, there's those um, videos of those Indian men making pools. I've watched which are the coolest several of those I've ever seen. But here's my deal: like when it rains really hard, isn't it all just gonna? Yes, probably. So but they that just makes wasted the all land that time. Reusable. But like, okay, all right, all right, Indian dudes, just waste time making stuff that's gonna get rained over. <laughs> So, what did we watch this week? We watched my favorite zombie movie, Night of the Living Dead, 1990. So, the remake. The remake of it, which was written by George Romero. Rom Ro wow. He did the screenplay, George Romero. Romero. And yeah. it was directed by Tom Savini, who was a makeup artist that was on the original Dawn of the Dead. Pretty sure he did some uh, Jason movies too. I know he did the fourth one. Also, Christine Romero was, I think, a producer. I'm not sure if that's like his wife or like his sister or his daughter, but I thought that was cool. What if it's all three? Well, this is not West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> it was set in Pittsburgh though. Yeah, but that's not West Virginia. It's almost, but it's not West Virginia. Well, Sorry to any of our West Virginian viewers. That we don't have anybody AKA, watching from West Virginia. AKA Literally no one. Cousins. <laughs> Do you have cousins from West Virginia? No. So, okay, people from Ohio are called Ohioans. People from Indiana are called Hoosiers. And people from West Virginia are called cousins. <laughs> They're all related. Anyways. I quit this channel. Anyways. Anyways. So, um, what are your thoughts of that movie? Because I thought it was pretty spectacular. Well, as I said, I loved it. Me and Spencer grew up on that movie. All my friends would watch it with us too. I could basically recite that whole movie from front to back. How many times have you seen it? Oh my god. I, I can't even count. At least 20. I would say even more. That's impressive. Like we would literally, like every time we'd hang out, we would just, with my friends, we would just watch it over and over. Because we loved the main character, Ben, so much in that movie. That you named your son after him. That I named my son after him. Not really, but he he's so funny in that movie. Well, let's let's talk about the movie. So it's basically a remake of Night, but they changed a couple things to kind of keep it keep it's you on your feet. It's been a really feet. long time since I've seen the original. Oh, I know. Um, however, I definitely thought that modern take on it was good. Um, I liked the fact that Barbara wasn't. Just Wasn't just screaming the whole space. time? I'm really glad that Barbara was not Judy Rose. <laughs> so Barbara in the original was basically just catatonic and screaming, and then she gets eaten by her brother, right? Mm, if I remember correctly. Nothing good happens. I remember she got eaten out the window, but... <laughs> Which is like the worst way to die. It's like, oh, I got pulled out the window and then... Eaten by my zombie brother. <sighs> Man. However, in this movie, her brother dies within like the first... 10 minutes? Six minutes, easily. Did you notice when he died, it was clearly a dummy? I mean, obviously. Oh, well, yeah. But, sure. like, it was, like, My favorite so part obvious. It was, like, so he fell with a zombie on him, and his head went like this against a rock. <laughs> and, like, I definitely thought, or, like, a headstone. I definitely thought that would have killed him. But don't worry, he came back later and then was a dead zombie. I, I mean, didn't kill him. so it did kill him. Well, I thought, it, like, landing killed him. Yeah, the landing on the rock killed him. But he... Yes, but can you still turn into a zombie when you're dead? Yeah, it was the recently deceased that were... 
Uh, I thought like you had to be fit. I mean, you could do it that, that too, but that it was both. That that's a very both. That's a good point. There are rules, and there's two. I don't. So obviously, if you have a zombie movie, someone there are some reason like instigator that turns the original people into zombies, but then I think they just spread that via like biting and eating. I always I don't really like the side plot that like. If you died, then you turn into a zombie. Well, that's how they all came back. Yeah, I get that. I get that. As I said, are you not following the zombie logic? No, as I said, <laughs> I understand that there's an instigating event, but I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm a huge like I love zombies. Like I think it's my favorite like horror genre. Um, I loved the first five seasons of The Walking Dead before I shit the bed. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so my brother and I started watching the first season like when they came on television and it was I think the greatest thing that came out that year. I'll give you that. And then it was just like it just got so bad and it made me so mad because my brother and I loved that show. And like we'd watch it together and like it just pisses me off how bad it got. I do like the effects on that show, but Yeah, I think the they are obviously cool. put a lot of money into the effects. But like basically everything else story sucks so like i love a good zombie movie but there are always i always i'm gonna find something so did you shoot. not like this movie no i love the movie oh you loved it i did yeah. i thought it was very action-packed but not like dumb waste yeah there wasn't wasted scenes where they were just sitting around like playing cards there was always like this level of they were attention. never at ease yes and i like that because i think that's a, a really realistic thing like in a zombie apocalypse, and especially if it's like the first night, you don't get a chance to breathe. You're just you're just fighting exactly. for your life. You're trying not to die. Um, also, <laughs> spoiler alert. There's one thing I'm going to spoil because it's you like, can spoil the whole thing. No, no one watches these. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, so my favorite part of the movie was so there was this guy named Cooper, and he was Cooper. He was the worst. He was not a good guy. Um, and then at the end, him and Barbara are the only ones alive. And she goes back into the house. And he's like, oh, you came back for me. And she just takes out a gun and shoots him in the face. It's amazing. I remember when I first saw that and I saw he was still alive. I'm like, that son of a bitch. And then, then like goes, a second oh. later, she's just like, fuck this guy. Yeah. Blast him moment. right between the eyes. The greatest moment. And you want this guy to die the entire exactly. effing time. And like the worst part is Ben dies. Yeah. Like Ben turns into a zombie. So let's get into Ben. But then ben. this fucking guy lives. Let's get into Ben. ben. Because Ben might be <laughs> one of my so favorite characters ben is played in any by movie. Tony, Tony Todd. Who... I learned, well, I realized like five minutes after I saw him that he was the creepy coroner slash undertaker from the Final Destination movies, which is my favorite movie series of all time. Mm. Um, I, I think know he's... that might be a very unpopular opinion, but hey, I love that. Hey, I'm not one to judge. I watch very crappy movies. And so, <laughs> the insinuation that Final Destination, they are really crappy movies. Oh, I'm sorry. Did they win a lot of Oscars <laughs> yes. every time they come out? Hey, Allie Larder was in them. <laughs> oh, did she win a lot of Oscars too? She did. <laughs> oh, name one movie she won an Oscar from. Um, the Resident Evil movie she was in. <laughs> so I oh, really, God. it was already like really great when I realized that this guy from Final Destination movies was in this well, movie. I think most people would probably know him as the Candyman. I've never seen Candyman. What? Is it a horror movie? Yeah. Okay. Dude. Maybe I should watch that this month. I can find it. Hey, I thought we'd establish the fact that I've not what, seen a lot of what, movies. What do you watch? <laughs> the Final Destination movies, obviously. Damn it. <laughs> I own all of them. Um, I'm really sad that they didn't come out with another one. So you, you're really sad they missed the 14th one that <laughs> yes. they're just shitting out every Dude, year? Just, okay, but the thing is, like, the shit that happens is scary because it could happen. Obviously, like, not because, like, there's some witchiness in the background like you could have logs come i will give truck. you that okay i will give you that you because could have a plane crash you could have a roller coaster right off the tracks like all this is the logs always get me because i'm always Dude. behind some truck carrying something and i always think of those like the worst part is the guy and on the motorcycle Ugh. 
Well, that's why they won all those Oscars, because they just really... They really... It's like very realistic take on... <laughs> yes, I hate you so much. <laughs> but the reason I love those is because they're so realistic. Like, if you ignore the fact that, like, in that movie, there's some spirit controlling the cards. I would say it's I death. I don't... Yes, I don't necessarily believe that, but in real life... Like, Wait, you don't believe happen. death is coming for you? I mean, we were all going to die, but I do not think there is you think a death? spirit called death following us around. No. Yes. I don't know. I saw him in the 6A bathroom at one time. <laughs> Our so, work is haunted, by the way. So, anyways. Well, no, I'm getting into... Before, I'm, I'm getting into... Speak. Zach Baggins, if you're watching, <laughs> come to my work. I don't think they would... I do not think he would pass any kind of... No. He'd just take off his shirt and flex at him until they let him in. <laughs> yep. We've gone so far off topic, I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about Ben. Yes. Yes. So, so, <laughs> we went off on the I, Who knows what we're talking about We're going to have to watch at least one of the final destinations, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I vote the odd one. So the reason why <laughs> me and my friends love this movie is because of Tony Todd's acting. We said it's like they just threw him into the zombie apocalypse scenario and they didn't tell him it's a movie because he is like legitimately beating the shit out of these zombie actors. No, like legitimately. Like he is like also my favorite legit part. Legit beating the shit out of them. Is the zombies are also very clearly dummies. Like he'll hit them with a fire poker and the sound it makes is like if you took a fire poker and slammed it onto like plastic. That's the sound it makes. Oh, I mean those ones like when he's actually killing them, yes, but like when he's just like fighting them, he is like roundhouse kicking. Oh yeah. Basically, just dudes in makeup. And it, sometimes oh. women. Like yes. when he was, okay, so there's this, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's this part where he gets uh, caught outside and he's trying to run back into the house and he has to basically just fight his way through this field of zombies and dude is going ape shit. He is picking up people, launching them oh, in the air, like rolling he just around. Throws people. And or like, like when he just like kicks them and then Men, away. women. Kids, dogs, cats, nothing is safe from Tony Todd. He Except is just... I, actually, I, I was wondering about that. I, there were, like, no animals in that movie. It's because they, they that one all. zombie was eating that mouse. Them boys hungry. And, and the They're just eating dogs and, and stuff. And then the other zombie got so mad. Oh, I, I love that part. The, the, guy, the zombie was eating the mouse. And the one next to him was like, oh, my. Well, he was like... <gasps> I was so mad. Well, maybe you should have thought of that mouse first, zombie man. Yeah, maybe you should have brought a snack. Yeah. <laughs> I felt really sad, though, because the mouse is adorable. I mm. mean, obviously, no real animals or people were harmed, well, besides the ones that were in hand-to-hand combat. <laughs> With Tony Todd. <laughs> you beat the shit out of them. Yeah, I, they went home bruised. So, my favorite part, so, um, they have to go find gas in this gas pump. <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying to fight their way out the door to make it into the truck to go get the gas. Well, they have this flaming torch. And Tony Todd is waving this flaming torch at these, like, actors. But they're zombies, but actors, because it's like, not real. It's not. Is it's this a documentary? <laughs> to him. Oh, yeah, apparently to him. To Tony Todd, yeah. So he does this and catches the fucking house on fire. So the house is, like, legitimately on fire in the movie. And all he does after he punches this zombie is he just goes, poof! He punches out a fire. Also, I have a question about fire. How did the gas tank and the truck blow up? Okay. Did the chick accidentally shoot it? So check this shit out. So they make it to the gas pump. They need gas for their car to get out of there. So, so they just have this truck that's almost out of gas. Right. And so like, well, we well, Tony Todd gas. comes into the scenario in the truck, mm-hmm. and he <laughs> runs over this motherfucker like Dude. immediately. No, the funniest part is it's literally like they took a <laughs> real human and hit them with a truck. <laughs> yes. That's his introduction like that, into the movie too. Yeah, like that's literally the first thing that happens when he's in this movie. Yeah, he just like, and like every time I see the truck coming, I just bust out laughing because I know like. This dude is not going to hold back. And it's, it's wonderful. But anyway, so he has this truck. It's out of gas. Yep. They have a sick kid in the basement. They need to go get help because she got bit by one of the crazy people. Yeah, so don't worry. That ends extremely well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they're trying, so they go to this farm, and the farm has a gas pump on it. 
So they have to go fight their way and get gas in the truck so they can get the hell out of there. Right. So they take the guy that owns the house. His name was, I forget. Tommy. Tommy. His, Tommy. his girlfriend, Judy Rose. Who is the most annoying character in all of cinema. And they take Ben, who, yes, you're obviously going to take Ben because mm -hmm. he's a, a damn killing machine. But the best thing was they're trying to, Judy Rose is trying to convince Tommy that she, she wants to go, and she's like, you need someone to drive, someone in the back to turn on the pump, and someone to ride shotgun. It's like, you don't need anyone to ride right. shotgun. Like, it's like, what? I like, really, there's no purpose for her going. Well, besides the fact that she didn't want to be away from Tommy. I, I love... This, well, the funniest part is, she didn't even ride shotgun. No, like, she, she didn't. Drove. Well, okay, Tommy's, Tommy's way of getting her to go to convince everybody, he's like, her family has trucks. She's been driving her whole life. And I'm like... So she can drive a car. <laughs> the worst, so the worst part is, like, she's literally just screaming at all times. And I'm like, that's not the kind of person you want to bring into a high stress situation, like going to a gas pump where you're surrounded by zombies. Well, then, so Ben falls out of the back of the truck. Yeah, because she's literally driving like a maniac. Yeah, and then she panics and doesn't hear anything, and Tommy is telling her to slow down. And, and so she just keeps driving. Did you see her face when she was driving? She's like... <gasps> and I'm like, dude. So <laughs> it's like fine. They pull up to the gas pump, and so this is how they blew up. Sans Ben. So Ben threw the torch in the back of the truck. Uh, ah, yeah. Tommy is at the gas pump. They have the keys that they got from the uncle's dead body. But don't worry, it was the wrong key. It was the wrong key. That's why they couldn't get gas. So Tommy's like, mess up with it. Judy Rose is in the front, screaming at Tommy. Doing nothing to help. No, absolutely nothing. Tommy real <laughs> realizes it's the wrong key. So the, the lock is on the gas pump. They're at a gas pump. He decides to take his shotgun. <laughs> so that was the gun truck. Yeah. I'm and a... blow off the lock, locking the gas pump onto, you know, itself. Obviously, if you shoot a gas pump, you're screwed. Because spark. Because, so. Old sparky. He shoots the gas pump, the gas explodes out of it, catches fire on the, the torch, torch in the back, boom. Literally. Judy Rose BBQ. <laughs> I mean, I felt really I felt bad because Tommy died. <laughs> but like also he's a dumbass. Second that was all, a I was dumbass. Not, I was not sad that Judy Rose died. I was like, finally. No one will be yelling. I remember my original viewing of it. I thought he was gonna take the butt of the gun and like right, hit that it. would have been reasonable. But then I saw him point the gun, I'm like, You're I mean, gonna die. I did not think that they were going to die, though. Well, I was like, this is I before I drove. Like, I know not to shoot a gas bomb. I, <laughs> I was convinced that they were not going to die. Like, I figured if they are going to die, it's because Judy Rose got hit by a zombie. <laughs> I was not expecting them to blow up. I thought you were going to say because Judy Rose ran over all of them because mm -hmm. her family has trucks. I was definitely, I definitely thought that, like, once Ben fell out of the truck, that the plot point was going to be that she ran him over. Did not happen. Did not. That's when Ben fights his way back to the house, and it's probably the greatest moment in movie history. He just beats the shit out of everybody. Like, real also, life beats the don't shit. don't worry. The little girl did indeed turn into a zombie and killed her mother, who didn't turn into a zombie. Yes, she did. Remember when, uh, so the oh, house gets over and Ben yeah. goes downstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she comes up, and Ben's just like, yeah, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just but looked like every other zombie out there. I remember in the original, she turns into a zombie and she kills her mom with that garden spade. Which was hanging on the wall. Which the movie, yeah. she bit the mom in the new movie and blood spattered on this as a, like a nod, like a yeah, like, little oh. old tip of the cap. Hey. Even well, the thing is, like, I don't. We didn't need that tip of the cap because the screenplay was literally written by George Romero. It's not like someone else was write, rewriting the script, like. It was literally George Romero. You do not get any more authentic than well, George Romero writing the screenplay. I did like what he did with Barbara. That was like my biggest yeah. selling point. Well, I think because when it came out in 1968, like women were definitely written as useless props who were hysterical and did not bring, like, did not help the Which situation. Which she kind of is during the first half. Like, she's kind of like... She at least kills them. Right. Like, she does kill. Like, she's like, kind of tranced out and, like, not all there, but then she kind like of... She has to kill a zombie. She kills a zombie. What so did like, you call I... her? You said she turns into a bad bitch? Is that what you said? <laughs> she's 100% <laughs> that bitch. 
So like, I'm really glad that they like kind of rewrote that because 1990 is a very different time than 1968. Like, and obviously, she... I I was not alive during any of those times, but I can only imagine. It was a great time. <laughs> Screw you. What? Because I wasn't alive. I was alive. Not in 1968. No, not in, I, what? I was talking about 1990. Yes. You're saying that it was a great time because I wasn't alive. That's what Did I Did I say that? That's what I... You're insinuating that I said that, but I never said that. I'm just saying the 90s are great. I was not alive in 1990. Well, that's your fault. I mean, that... <laughs> I wasn't born until later. So, she's the lone survivor, unlike the original movie where she gets eaten. And actually, I don't think there's any survivors in the original. Is there? No, I think they get overrun and eaten. If we're and, wrong, and ben dies. leave a comment below. In the original, Ben dies. For sure. I think they he gets be. shot as a human. They, saw him, they see him through the window, and they shoot him. <laughs> Isn't that so depressing? Like, you make it that far alive, and then you get killed. But in this one, Ben makes it, but he turns. is shot by Cooper. Yeah, and then turns into a And then he... Actually, the best part of the movie is the house gets overrun. I wouldn't say best part, but... The house gets overrun. He makes it to the basement. He's shot like three, four times. Yeah. He's dying because he's bleeding. He's just sitting there smoking like, eh, fuck it. Then he looks up and he sees the goddamn gas key. <laughs> yes. He's <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. He's like, son of a bitch. Literally, you could just see like all of his he, will to live. He just, he just starts laughing. Like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. You could just see he lost like everything that was left in him. Then he died. So. Yeah. They come back the next day and he's a zombie. And unfortunately they shoot him down. Well, but it was good. Like, that's what I would want. I wouldn't want people to kill me if I was a zombie. Oh, don't kill me. Just let me run around. No, you're more of a danger. No. <laughs> you're a danger. Just cut off my arms. You can still use your teeth. Don't get near me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be grabbing you if I have no arms. Cue the Dawn of the Dead, like, remake, where they run. First of all, can I just say I hate running zombies? That's because it's like, what are you supposed to do? Well, it doesn't... Okay, I... Okay, let me go back. I only approve of, like, the 28 Days Later zombies, because they weren't really, like, living dead. They were just infected people. Now, if you have living dead... I just, I mean, obviously, it's all preposterous, but, like, they're not going to be full sprinting at you because they're all decaying and falling apart. They're going to be sluggish and, like... No, like, I think it's, a not, like, an unrealistic plot point, but also it's scary to my core. I just think you have to try harder with slower zombies. True. So, I think that's... I... One yeah. last mo thought about zombie movies. World War Z is an abomination <laughs> against the genre. They spent how much money, and it was shit. And that's the facts. That was actually based off a book, right? Boom. Ding. That was actually based off a book, right? It is. Um, written, I think, by Max Brooks. Mm -hmm. My brother has it. It was like a bunch of like different Little, like, stories. Yeah. It wasn't... Well, I know that one story in there is Brad Pitt with a scarf. <laughs> Worst story ever. Now, did you watch the rated PG? Or not PG, yeah, it should have been PG. Rated PG thirteen version where all the blood was turned black. No. I did. I saw this version where all the blood that came out of zombies or people was black, and I hated it even that much more. So uh, that's our thoughts on zombies. Yeah. Hey, Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> We're pointing at you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you give it? I give it a 10 out of 10. So I gave it a great rating on my Halloween list. From a zombie head, which is 10, to a normal person head, I give it two zombie heads. Because it, it, once again, it, ooh, once, <laughs> once again, it is my favorite zombie movie of all time. I definitely enjoyed it, and I would watch it again. You would? I would. You liked it that much? I did. Like you're not just saying that because no, we're on film I, and I you don't. feel the need to... No, I, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. You would just flat out say, I hate that yeah. stupid movie that you love? Yeah. But you actually do love it? I do. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> now... Um, you keep doing no. that. <laughs> because we gotta go. I know. You hate me so much. You want to no. stop these videos. That's not why. <laughs> okay. Last thing.
Now we are going to pick one of her movies to watch. So I think oh. we, we... <laughs> So the movie that we're going to watch... Well, we kind of scrapped the whole pulling... Yeah, yeah, because mine, we watched all of them, and then yours was like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I'm going to watch, and then it was... Oh, I thought um, you were going to say mine were good. No. Um, then, <laughs> what was the other one? Chopping Mall. And I... So... You have to see Chopping Mall. Yeah, I will eventually watch it. However, I'm picking a movie this time. And the movie that I'm picking... Go ahead, because I'm going to totally make fun of you for disrespecting Chopping Mall. So <laughs> say the movie you are about to say. <laughs> okay, we will watch that too. To make up for the movie, and that's fine. We are going to watch <laughs> the seminal film, Jack Frost. And not like the one with Michael Keaton. No, the horror yeah. one. Oh, yeah. I thought Michael Keaton was the horror. Oh. <laughs> he looks uh, terrifying. You are correct. So that's what we're going to watch. So we're going to watch that. That has Shannon and Elizabeth in it from American Pie, right? I I don't know. It came out when I was very young. <laughs> I will let you know. We will let you know our thoughts on So that. Miss Ladybug and I will let's <laughs> know. Bye!